bit a tragic here and let's uh have another game woohoo uh basically this is lackey uh and i'm playing the same quest i've done before which is uh, what was it called again uh flight from moria just because the one i did the live play it wasn't that exciting so i thought i'd play it through on the computer because it's a lot easier for me to edit because i've got a lot of time problems with uh you know, Christmas and, you know, the work. I've still got the Android Netrunner. I mean, the Android board game playthrough that I'm doing. But anyway, so this is all set up to play the same quest. Basically, all I need to do is shuffle the encounter deck and shuffle the player deck. And we're ready to go. So I've already put the first Presence from the Dark into the victory pile. So... The only thing I need to do now, oh, that's my cat running around like a mad thing, is reveal one card per player, and then we're ready to go. So I've already put the the two threat up here. Okay, so let's uh, draw our first six cards and see what we got here. Okay, so this is an interesting one. We have threat reduction, we have our citadel plate, and we have a swift strike if needed. Plus we have a card draw and we've got some questing power. So this is actually quite a good hand, even though we don't have our two key cards, which are Steward of Gondor or the Belt of Navri or whatever the hell it's called. So without the Belt or the Steward, I'm kind of thinking I should just mulligan this, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to mulligan it to try and make the this... A little more interesting because this is really a cool quest and it's unfortunate that you know I played it through like uh, two times and both times you just didn't get to see the quest running so I thought let's let's give the quest a chance to do its stuff so we're going to keep this and now we have to draw that first encounter card as commanded by uh, 1b as you can see here so we draw that boom okay so this is a pretty harsh card the first player attaches Shadow of Fear to one of his heroes, counts as a condition attachment, limit one per hero, attached hero cannot exhaust already, and the text box is treated as if it were blank. So we're going to stick that on Frodo. But what's interesting about this is that there's an action. You just pay three resources and uh, that's it. The card disappears. You can get rid of it by just paying three resources. So it's only going to be around for a couple of turns. So let's shuffle the quest deck and draw our first quest card. And let's quest for two. We reveal the quest card. It's heading down. And now we draw the first encounter card. Boom. And we have a monster. Now I like to put these little orange uh, tokens on the card so I can read them at a glance. So that's two threat, one threat. And I'm questing for two. I usually quest for four threat at the beginning, but. We've got this shadow of fear on uh, Frodo. He's a bit terrified at the moment. But anyway, so whatever. We're questing for two, and there's three in the staging area, so our threat goes up by one. And then this guy attacks us. We are not going to defend this, so let's just draw an encounter card. Bam! Okay, so the shadow is the only thing we need, and it says attacking enemy gets plus X, where X is the number of players. So this is now attacking for two. So that's two wounds and two uh, resources. And then I'm going to attack with Boromir and he puts one damage on. Now, by the way, I use a bucket spring keyboard. It's like an old IBM keyboard from like the late eighties. It still works, it's still fantastic to type on. I do a lot of programming and uh, writing, you know, writing manuals and all sorts of kind of stuff. And it's uh, it's just so good to type on, but it's loud. So you're just gonna have to deal with that clicking noise because it's all bucket spring. Anyway, uh, so that's the end of that. So let's start the new turn. And everyone gets a resource. And that's a bit unfortunate. We get a sneak attack. But we are already able to cast one, two, three, four and put out Estor which is awesome. So he has another two questing power. 
I'm going to quest for. I'm not going to call. Yeah, I'm going to quest for two. Uh, I think I'm just going to quest for two. Draw an encounter. Bam. Okay, so this one says if the players are not on stage one, which we're not for the rest of the game, shuffle the current quest guide into the quest deck. And then reveal the new quest card. So this just gets shuffled in the quest deck. And we draw a new quest. So we're already getting a little bit lost. And this gets discarded. Questing for two. There's two in the staging area, so nothing happens. I'm then defending with Gloin. Draw an encounter. Uh, nothing that's got no shadow effect. He's attacking for one, defending at one. No damage. We attack with Boromir, and he's killed. New turn. Okay, so this is an interesting one. We have three resources on Frodo, so we can use those resources to get rid of Shadow of Fear, or we could cast uh, the Greeting and lower our threat by six. Both of them are actually pretty good options, uh, but I think we're just going to keep it the way it is. We're still a bit strapped for useful cards here. We're only going to quest for two. And now we reveal the next quest card. Boom. Oh, wrong turn. This is a nasty one because basically wrong turn has, when revealed, we uh, reveal one encounter card per player and add to staging area. So before the normal card is revealed, we draw an encounter card. Bam. And it's a monster. Gives us two. And then we draw another encounter card. Bam. Ooh, and it's the tools. And because we revealed it, we actually get guarded. So out comes another one. Boom. And it's uh, put the top enemy of the encounter discard pile, engage with the first player. So let's just discard that. And there's the first card in the, the first enemy in the discard pile, and it comes in engaged. Okay. So, we're questing for two. Um, that's unfortunate. So, we're questing for two. Our threat goes up by two. And then this guy attacks us. Shadow cards go to the guy with the highest... Uh, threat so it goes on the stray goblin first we defend the stray goblin bam attacking enemy gets plus one counter discard so he has one defense he's attacking for one he gets plus one so it's one wound and one resource and now we've got to start healing this guy we're going to defend with Boromir attacking enemy attacks again after this attack deal it another shadow card Wow. Okay, so this could be the end of the game right here. Anyway, so this attacks to do, defends at one. Oh wait, action speed. We can actually uh, untap. So we untap uh, Boromir for one threat, then we defend again. Plus three attack, wow. That's five, he's second for five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. And then we go our threat by two. One, two, and we put two wounds on those guys. Man. Then I'm gonna go one more threat again. Get the, get the tools. And now that we've finished the Wrong turn, we're gonna bypass this uh, quest because we're in the quest phase. Uh, actually, we're not. I don't wanna risk that going back into the deck. So, that's it. Refresh, new stuff. Okay, so we get out our steward, which is cool. Oh, you know, I should have used Boromir's. I should have used Swift Strike. I don't know why I didn't do that. 
We're going to have to use it this turn now anyway. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, uh, one, two, three, and get rid of this. And I'm going to quest for, I think it's two for some reason. I'm going to quest for four. Uh, no, I'm going to quest for two, draw encounter. Get one wound on this guy. This is like deal wounds per player. So that gets discarded. Questing for two, two in the staging area, so there's no extra damage. And now we have to deal with these guys again. So shadow up, shadow up. Um, well, I'm gonna defend with Frodo, bam, nothing happens. He attacks for two, defends at two, no damage. We're gonna defend with Boromir, bam. He defends at two, he attacks for one, no damage. And then we're gonna go threat twice. And that untaps Boromir twice and we attack twice. Boom, and these guys are now both killed. Okay. Booyah, now we're cooking. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go one, two, and place out our. Uh, let's get this nice and neat. There we are. We're going to spend two resources and place out the belt. Now, this is the belt allows us to basically give an icon of our choice to the hero. So now we're just gonna start pumping through things. So I'm gonna tap this and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and place out Citadel Plate on Gloin. And that increases his health to eight. So now he's got eight health, which is huge. And we're still gonna just quest for two. We really wanna, uh, may as well do four, I guess. Oh, uh, we just really wanna get both four out cheaply. I guess it doesn't really matter. Draw encounter, bam. Ah, oh, if only I did it with two. Okay, when revealed, each player has to discard one card from ra at random. We love all our cards, so I'm just gonna draw another encounter. Bam. Deal one damage to each exhausted character. Discard. Requesting for four, there's five in the staging area, so our threat goes up by one. And then we travel to this location. Okay, everyone gets resources. That's uh, one, two, three. Discard and drop our threat by six. And I think we're just gonna quest for... Six this time, draw encounter, out comes this monster. Four, five, six. This guy comes down, we give him a shadow card. We defend with Boromir, but we're gonna go minus two and do a swift strike, which deals two damage to attacking enemy as we block. So he is now destroyed. And time to refresh again. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and place out a birdie. And bam, two, four, six, eight, draw encounter. Four in the staging area. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is now beaten, and we've also beaten wrong turn. So put that in the victory pile, and we just give another two threat to the Nameless Fear, and boom, out comes the next quest. Ooh. Okay, 
Oh, I was just about to say, we really need a healer. And here it is. Okay, another two for Gloin. And we're obviously going to tap him out and go one, two, and place out our healer. And then we're going to tap him and heal one, heal two, minus two, law, because we're still in the same phase, to untap him, then tap him again, heal another point of damage off each. We're going to minus another two to untap him. And then I'm going to tap him again, and this time I'm going to heal one from here and one from here. And then I'm going to minus another two and untap him. And then shunk. Boom, attack for six. We reveal the next card. It's Hasty Council. Ugh. Okay, this is the one where we kind of shuffle. We, we get to peek at the top two cards and pick one for the staging area, and the other one goes to the bottom of the deck. So first thing is the Hasty Council goes into our victory display and puts another two into our victory pile. So we actually have, we've got three quests in here and they all got two victory points. So that's why we're at six. So we're actually six, seven, eight just by ourselves. And now we get to look at the top of the quest card, reveal all top, uh, top two. And we get to pick one of these. Heading down or narrow paths. That'll be plus six threat. Well, um, narrow paths actually would take us to the end of the game. Like that's the way to win, but we'd have plus six threat. That would put us, you know, right near, you know, we, unless we, if we had more threat reduction in our hand, I would have done it, but we don't. So I'm gonna actually put a narrow pass on the bottom, which is kind of bad, done. And we're putting head and down as the quest. And it's put down at 2B. So like it actually says on Hasty Council, flipped to side 2B. Okay, so that's that. And we haven't even drawn the encounter card now. So we draw the encounter, boom. And out comes another found well into three. Okay. I think I am going to draw another encounter instead of discarding a card. Boom. And it's one threat and another encounter card with Surge. Oh, beautiful. And that's exactly what we wanted because this card is now going to shuffle the heading down back into the encounter deck. So that card we're after is no longer at the very back. And out comes another one. But we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 in the staging area. And we're only questing for two, four, six, eight. We're gonna spend one, put out both of two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So our threat only goes up by one. Nice. And then we're gonna tap our healer and heal one off you and one off you. Wow, come on, where's all our, we need threat reduction and we need it now. Oops, I forgot to travel to this location, sorry. Okay, so, uh, let's quest for four, two, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, draw encounter, oh wait, before a draw encounter, we have to flip this over, heading up, that's fine, boom, that gives us one, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, and we're questioning for two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So that's two uh, progress tokens on the found well. And we're actually in quite a lot of trouble here. If we don't get some, uh, Threat reduction soon. Ah, beautiful. Uh, 
One, two, three. Scarred greeting. It's another minus six. Gives us a bit of breathing room. We're back to 36 threat. Draw encounter. Ooh, this one gets put up here. And this one comes, dreadful gap gets automatically traveled to, which is pretty harsh. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And we're questing for two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So threat goes up by one. Finally, some Gandalf action. Okay, so we are going to go. Okay. How am I going to do this? We've got 38 threats, so we've still got quite... I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, no, I'm not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And place out Gandalf. And I'm actually going to use this to draw three cards. Okay, now we're starting to cook with a bit more gas. And then I'm going to quest draw encounter. Bang. Oh, it's another need new delivery, which means that the quest card again gets shuffled back in. So this is working a lot better, this quest. You can see how you get kind of lost and randomly walking around inside the dungeon. It's actually really thematic and cool, I reckon. And we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in the staging area. And we're questing for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 15. So there's 12 in the staging area. That means we get one quest progress on here. And because this is now on set on 2A, we can't put any progress tokens on it. But this has victory points. So this goes into the victory display. And this goes up another 3. So that's pretty harsh. Oh, forgot to turn off my alarm from yesterday. <laughs> okay, now let's travel to this location. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot to put uh, Born Aloft on him. That was a terrible mistake. So <laughs> Born Aloft is meant to be on <laughs> Gandalf. It's a zero cost. I just forgot to do it because I was chatting. Sorry, because then we discard Born Aloft and he goes back into our hand. That's what's supposed to happen. Bit of a horrible misplay by me. Okay, so now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and play out uh, Timely Aid. We peek at the top five cards. One, two, three, four, five, and there he is. Faramir comes into play. Beautiful. Shuffle my deck, and now we should be in a good position to win. So, let's quest. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, 13, 14, 15, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bam. And I think I'll do this again. So, before I do the questing, I am going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put out Gandalf. This time I'm going to drop my threat by five. Put Born Aloft on him. And then of course we quest. We reveal the next card. Oh, and it's Escape, which is a real bummer. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're questing for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 12, 13, 14, 15. Fouled well is discarded. We travel to here. We're gonna discard Born Aloft. Put Gandalf back into our hand. And then we're gonna activate the bypass ability that all these quests have. 
So at the end of the combat phase, we may bypass the quest. So this goes into the back and then we just draw another card from the front. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna we're starting to really cook here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then tap you and go four. Discard the tomb to cast Gladual's Greeting, and we get another minus six. And we're all the way down to 29, so we've recovered nicely now. And there's 9, 10, 11, we're questing for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Yeah, so there's plenty. Drawing, uh, we reveal, bam, blocked by shadow. That's a bit of a bummer. So blocked by shadow, we're gonna activate the first ability, which says uh, each player discuss, oh no, that's not the one. We're gonna activate the second ability which says reveal the next quest card, putting the block by shadow on the bottom of the quest deck. So again, this moves to the base and we know that this one here, this one here is actually, that's the one we want to escape. So all these ones, are, one, of the, one of these is heading up, heading down, one's heading down, one's heading up and the other one is the, the card we want. So we're getting there. So we draw a quest card to replace it. And that's it, isn't it? So 9, 10, 11, and we're questing for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. We then tap Faramar to add another 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 we're questing for. And that obviously beats that, so this gets discarded. Boom. We've been really lucky, no monsters. We gotta, there's gotta be a, uh, a troll sometime soon. Okay, so we draw a card and everyone gets a resource, you get two. And we're gonna activate Estor's ability to discard the belt and draw another card. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, place out an eagle. Oh, no we're not. You're gonna tap that and uh, use one of the resources from Gloin to play that eagle. So we did three from Boromir because we want to keep faint up at all times. Okay, so boom. I'm not gonna quest with you. Reveal, bam, and it's heading down. So draw encounter. Spunk. Each player must exhaust a card, uh, a character he controls and then discard the top card of his deck if able. If the printed cost of the discarded card is equal to or higher than the remaining hit points of the exhausted character, discard exhausted character. So this is fairly safe. There is Gandalf, there's two Gandalfs and there's one Radagast. So there's actually three cards that can kill Boromir, but I'm feeling fairly confident that that is Pretty rare, so let's just tap him, draw the next card. Bam, oh, so close, Citadel Plate. So it's five health and the Citadel Plate costs four. It's not enough, see if it's if the card you draw's cost is equal to or greater than the card you tap, then that character is destroyed. We did lose the plate though, which kind of sucks because we needed the plate to uh, increase Gloin's health here. Anyway, regardless, we are questing for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and there's 9, 10, 11. So that's 12. And that's the end of that. We're then going to tap you and heal one. And then, because it's the end of the combat phase, we're then going to put that into the quest deck and draw the next quest. And this is probably the right one, I would say. Oh, and there's Radagast, so close. Except so far. Okay, so the reason why we're not just rocking the 
the the regen here is because we still have a number of you know like the the threat reduction is because we still have a number of tombs left to get the threat reduction and there are some really nasty hill trolls or you know cave trolls or whatever that could really ruin our day so we want to keep these guys up for that anyway so let's uh quest this card is revealed boom and it's narrow pass okay now we're cooking with mega gas okay so what's interesting about this one is it says when revealed each player chooses one questing character and all the characters not chosen do not count their will. So we are going to choose uh, both four. So we're only questing for two at the moment. Okay. Now, the interesting is, even though this is, it's just saying the, the questing character do not, the, each questing character not chosen does not count its will till the end of the turn. But they're still committed to the quest. Okay. Anyway, so now let's uh, draw the encounter card. Boom. Ooh. First player must discard a questing character he controls. Oh, and I selected Bofa. What an idiot. I should have selected one of the eagles. Oh, well. So Bofa is... Oh, no, wait. Sorry, they're all questing, aren't they? So I can I can select any of these guys. So yeah, I'm gonna select Beaufort. That's the one I wanna select. Yeah, discard. Bam, he's the, the least valuable out of all my questers. I confused myself for a second there. We're now questing for zero. Not, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, and cast Ever Onward. And that's exactly what Ever Onward is doing in this deck. Response, after player's quest unsuccessfully, choose a player that player does not raise his threat. So bang, no threat gain instead of getting like, you know, tons of threat, even though we would be able to cut it down by one, two, three, four, five. Still, anyway, whatever. And um, well, that's that. Uh, okay, everyone gets a resource. So you, you're going to get two. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five and place out a Radagast. I should probably put Radagast uh, here though, because because he gets money. And, okay, so we're almost rocking the end of the game. I think just for fun, I'm gonna go minus one, discard Will of the West and shuffle my discard pile back in. And we'll just quest away. Yeah, bang. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Draw an encounter. Boo. Okay, so get another sniper. One damage, one resource. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And we're questing for twelve, wasn't it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're questing for 18. So that's another four, one, two, three, four, which of course beats the narrow path. So let's put that into victory display. This guy goes up to 10 and we draw the next quest. And this has to be the one we're looking for. Oh, it could be heading up, couldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, tap. Remove that health. Everyone gets a resource, except you who gets two. And I think I'm gonna go 
four, but I'm going to sneak attack. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to sneak attack, just in case that troll comes out. That's ten. That's fourteen in the staging area. We reveal the next card. Boom. Oh, and it's heading up. So I did the right thing. Draw encounter. Bam. It's another monster. We now get two wounds. And there's what, 14, 15, 16 in the staging area. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 17, 18. Okay, so we're still questing fine. Faramir is just a god. This guy is going to attack. Get a shadow card. Let's just defend with you. We'll spend two resources and that will kill him by casting Swift Strike, which adds two wounds when he defends. And then we'll heal. One heal, spend two resources to untap him. Click again and unheal. Now it's the end of the combat phase. So, We're gonna bypass this one as well. Players may bypass this quest card at the end of the combat phase. And the next one, if my memory is working, should definitely be the one we're looking for. So now it's time to uh, do our threat reduction. Okay, yonk. So, the way threat reduction can work, firstly, we'll put out Boots of Erebor. Yoink. That'll give us an extra health. This is the planning phase, right? So we're gonna go sneak attack, Gandalf. That's gonna drop our threat by five. And now we enter the quest phase so as it says, at the end of the phase, if that ally is still in play, return to your hand. So now we're entering the quest phase. This goes back into our hand. We're then gonna sneak attack again and do another minus five. This is the quest phase. And then we're gonna quest uh, we're not going to even bother questing, stuff questing, just in case the troll comes out. So we're not going to quest at all. This gets revealed. Bang and boom, escape from darkness. See, I know what I'm doing. I totally know what I'm doing. And, uh, whatever. So we're going to go minus one, two, three and cast. Oh, wait. Sorry. Let's uh, draw the next encounter first. Bam. Eh, it's just a location. Okay, so we then go one, two, three and cast Ever Onward, which again stops us from gaining any threat if we don't quest successfully. And this way we'll in, we'd be able to kill, a, if a heal troll came out, we would have been able to kill it this turn quite easily with all the damage we've got because none of us were tapped. It's a very powerful card. I don't know why people don't like using it. And well, that's the board game. So now the quest phase is over. So Gandalf goes back into our hand. It's now the travel phase. Let's sneak attack Gandalf one more time. Minus another five. Boom, and we hit secrecy. <laughs> we travel. This then gets discarded. Uh, goes back into our hand at the end of the travel phase. And now it is the refresh phase. And because we're on the last quest card, Abandoned Tools now gets the action Exhaust Attached Hero to put a progress token on Escape from Darkness. So that's what we're gonna do. We exhaust the hero, we put a progress token. We then spend three threat, one, two, three, and then untap him three times and tap him three times. One, two, three. And that's it. We have beaten it.
arrows whistling past our head as we run past the mountain roots and find the exit, which we then have to hack away at the wall with our tools that we found in the cave, the dwarven tools of awesomeness, and we're escaped. Woohoo! And that's it. That was a much better game of that quest. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys next time.